everyone i was just doing my makeup and actually getting ready to head out of the door but i decided to stop turn on the camera and actually do a first impression for you guys on a product that i have not even touched yet and so today's product we're going to be talking about is the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser so i purchased this back in my haul video that you guys can see the link will be up below obviously but i wanted to give this product to try because I haven't even opened it yet so we're first before I even start using it we're gonna talk about what it's supposed to do it says you're supposed to get poreless smooth looking skin it has a blur technology I guess infused in this that it's supposed to instantly blur the look of your pores without clogging them it's also a transparent gel formula that is supposed to smooth onto the skin clear as well as smooth and refine the skin's per appearance and they also say that you can use this alone just on your skin for a more flawless looking skin. Or you can also use this as a thin layer underneath your makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and crack this baby open and see if it actually works. So I am just opening this today. Being authentic here. Ah! God, it's hard to get into. Jeez. And so it just comes with this really cute little packaging. Oh, wow. Okay, so it says it has an application tip and smooth onto areas with visible pores. So, let's see what the tip looks like. Oh, ha ha ha, I thought it came with a tip, tip, tip. No, it's an, a tip, like a makeup tip. So, opening this up, let's see what it looks like. It's just a gel formula clearly that's going to be too much and I'm just going to apply this kind of where I have most of my pores that's really up in this area and already it feels like the Smashbox photo finish but a little bit silicone-y Hmm. Not too shabby so far. Um, I'm going to let this sit for a second. As I do with all my primers, clearly I squeezed out too much. But really, it seems like with this product, obviously a little goes a long way. So... We shall see and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation over this but the feel of it just it feels silky it doesn't feel um, greasy or anything like that I think on the skin it's a little from other primers that I've had it's a little heavier but it doesn't feel bad so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation first and we shall see how this works out. Um, if you guys are interested in what foundation I'm gonna be Gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Maybelline True Fit or True Match. God, I forgot the name. True Match Lumi Foundation. Um, and I am in the color N78 Classic Tan. Because someone always asks me, what color are you? What color are you? So I gotta start including that in my videos. So yeah. And I already noticed right off the bat, I put most of the product kind of um, in this particular area because that's where I have a lot of the issues with my pores. Um, so far, it seems to go over really smooth. Um, Not too shabby. Because I don't have um, like really, really large pores, but obviously sometimes your makeup will kind of seek into the pores. And this doesn't do that. It seems like my pores actually look, dare I say it, non visible. <laughs> 
So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and we will be back with my final take on this first impression of the product. I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup and it kind of gave me an opportunity to kind of really look in and see my pores and so far I'm kind of liking this product. Um, I don't feel that my makeup has kind of sunk into my pores. Like I said, I have most of my more visible pores. <clears throat> excuse me my most visible pores kind of around this area and just slightly on my nose but so far pretty good so I would recommend this product I think it's a little bit more on a thicker side than like my primetime um, foundation primer from Bare Minerals um, it's a little bit different um, than the Smashbox Photo Finish, which I can't even find, but it's pretty much the same consistency, the same feel, um, if not a little bit more silkier, so I think that that makes it really great when you're applying makeup, so it's going to give you more of that, you know, soft, um, smooth surface for your foundation to kind of go over, so we are kind of excited about this product like I don't know what's going on with the drugstores but they're doing really great on kind of these like poor products because like I said in my um kiss it or diss it I really liked the L'Oreal Youth Co Texture Perfection if you guys have not seen that video check that and I'll put the link below um but so far this is working out great so I'm really excited about this product so far. I love it. So we shall see if I continue to use it. So thank you guys for tuning in to this first impression. If you guys like to see more videos like this, please leave a thumbs up. If there's something that I did not touch in the video or any have a question, leave those down in the comments. If you have something to say about it or you love or hate the product, also leave that down. I would love to hear other people's opinions. And don't forget to subscribe to the videos to keep up with me and what's going on on our beauty channel. So until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Don't forget to check out my latest videos.